Well, after almost a year away from home, more than 100 National Guard soldiers are back with their families. 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is live at Lindbergh Field, and Marie, these families had to wait just a little bit longer for their long-awaited reunion, didn't they? They did, Jason. So their flight was delayed for an hour, so these families had to wait a little longer to see their loved ones. They were gathered right in this area where right now you can see Marines getting their bags ready as they get ready to leave for training. Definitely a different sight and feeling than what we saw earlier this morning. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine. You could feel the excitement build from the moment they announced their plane had landed. Making me nervous. <laughs> to the instructions to gather near the parking lot in front of the USO building. It never gets any easier. It's, you would think it would, but it doesn't. And it wasn't until the Freedom Guard arrived and the buses pulled into the parking lot. And you could really see family and friends preparing themselves for this. More than 100 National Guard soldiers left home last August, deployed to the naval base at Guantanamo Bay, working security at the detention camp where prisoners captured in the Middle East are held. A job that left family members back home worrying. It makes me nervous, but it makes me very proud of her. For the Cortez family, they've lived the military life for 10 years. But the feeling is always the same on homecoming day. Oh, well, it was hard like everything else, but I mean, we're good now. I'm just trying to get back home with my family. For others, like the Lugo family, it took a while to get Anthony's three year old daughter to understand her dad was finally back home. She's a little shy right now, so <laughs> give it a couple of days and she'll be okay. <laughs> now they have 90 days of vacation before they have to begin training again. Live from Lindbergh Field, Marie Cornell, 10 News.